With your local and area news this morning, I'm Justin Mott. This news brought to you by Sandy Wheeler State Farm. United States Congressman Louis Gohmert visited Timpson ISD yesterday. Here is what he had to say. Well, I was asked to be, uh, this morning was asked to be at the Rose Garden at the White House this afternoon at 3. But I said, sorry, can't do it. I gotta, I'm going to be in Timpson at that time, meet with the folks there at the school. It's exciting what's happening here in Timpson. It's exciting that uh, people here in Timpson with the passing bond issue, understanding how important an education is, and especially putting the emphasis on math and science and having students here, even from the, the most um, socioeconomically deprived uh, parts. Smart kids, they deserve a chance, and it's great that people at Timpson want them to have that. So we want to help any way we can. Uh, often it helps just to get Washington off people's back, and uh, we're working on that, but also any grants, anything that we make and help with until we get Washington totally off people's uh, back. But in the meantime, just congratulations to Timpson. Uh, the things that are happening here look great and I'm delighted to be uh, here to see these things happen. The Shelby County Walk and Talk program is getting started soon. Felicia Thompson with Texas A&M AgriLife Extension tells us more. I wanted to talk a little bit about my new program that's starting up on June the 12th. It's a Walk and Talk Fitness and Nutrition program. It's free of charge to the community. Uh, registration will be June 5th through the 8th from 8 a.m. to 12 noon at the County Extension office. Uh, the program, the first day of the program on June the 12th, we'll have a registered dietitian there to answer questions about eating and weight loss. Uh, we'll also have tips on weight loss throughout the sessions, eating more fruits and vegetables, and weekly we'll take walks uh, in the local areas here in Shelby County. And now, moving along in your rest report this morning in Shelby County, Cindy Furlow, age 46, is Shelbyville, furnishing alcohol to a minor. Kenneth Furlow, age 49, is Shelbyville, furnishing alcohol to a minor. Rick Warren, burglary of a habitation, two counts. Kamisha Evans, age 19, of Center, assault family violence. And in St. Augustine County, there were no new arrests reported as of this morning. Moving along in your obituaries this morning, 57-year-old Mr. Michael Cranford of Center passed away Wednesday the 24th at East Texas Medical Center in Tyler. Services will be held Saturday the 3rd at 11 a.m. at the Center Triumph Church with Reverend Brian Cote Jr. officiating. Burial will follow in the Davis Cemetery Garden in Lufkin. He is survived by his wife, Maddie Pearl Cranford of Center, four daughters, four sons, 16 grandchildren, and two great-grandchildren. As always, for more information, you can visit our website at cbc-radio.com. That's cbc-radio.com. Or our Facebook page at Center Broadcasting Company on Facebook. That's Center Broadcasting Company on Facebook. With your local and area news this morning, I'm Justin Mott. This news brought to you by Sandy Wheeler State Farm.